Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com. In this video, we are going to look at the weekday function in Excel. Now, this brilliant function, its job is to identify the weekday from a date. And it returns that result as a number from 1 to 7. So let's have a quick look at it on its own to understand it properly first and then we're going to apply it to a business situation. So first of all, just in any cell at the moment, this is the weekday function. It returns a number from 1 to 7 that identifies that day of the week. And it comes with two questions. The first one is the date that you want to look at. So let's just reference the 3rd of February in uh, this example. And if I put a comma, the second question provides a list to specify how I want these numbers, you know, what I want them to represent. So the default here is that a number one is a Sunday to number seven that is a Saturday. And then we have the other options that we can see on my screen. So that is it. And it will return the answer as a number. So if I choose number one from that list and just close bracket on that and press enter, that tells me that the third of Feb is number six which should represent a Friday because the default option with number one if I remind myself of this was that it's numbers one Sunday through to seven Saturday so number six in that case is a Friday so it identifies the day of the week and it identifies it as a number now we can use that though within conditional formatting rules and if functions and VLOOKUPs and all this good stuff in Excel to get some really powerful date calculations and work done. So let's look at a basic example of such a thing. I can click in cell C2 here and let's imagine a situation where somebody has a different rate of pay on a Saturday to what they are given on a usual working day. Quite a common situation. Now I want to apply it to each of these dates running down column A here. That if it is a Saturday, apply the Saturday rate, otherwise normal rate. So I'm going to use the if function to be able to perform this test. And they're going to prompt me for what my logical test may be. And I want to know if it's a Saturday. So I'm going to use the weekday function. Here it is, so that I can find out what is the day of the week of this date. You know, what is A2, comma, I'm going to use number 1 like I did a moment ago. So Sunday is 1 through to Saturday is 7, closing bracket. Now I'm looking for Saturday. So I want to know if the result of that weekday function equals 7. Because for me, 7 is a Saturday. Then I can put my comma in and I'll have my true and false statements. So the value of true will be to multiply the number of hours in B2 by the Saturday rate, which is in F3 here. And I'll fix that reference. Comma, the value of false is to multiply the hours by the normal rate, which I'll also fix with my F4 key. And I can run that formula and copy it down. And that is applying that if function and that weekday function to all of those cells. So we can see here, if you look at these, on the 10th of Feb, I did an 8-hour day for £72. On the 11th of Feb, a 6-hour day for £72. Now that is because that 6-hour day was a Saturday. The higher rate meant I got the same amount of money for 2 hours less work. And we can see a similar thing going on with this 8-hour day. £96 for the 8 hour day because the 4th of Feb was a Saturday. So a different rate is applied to the other days of the week. So that is just one example of how the weekday function can help you and what you're doing in your Excel spreadsheets. It's just one of some of the fantastic date functions Excel has to offer. I hope you found this video tutorial useful. Please check out some of my other videos on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergargar.com.